You guys, this light keeps going out, these lips. So if that turns off during this video, y'all gotta let me know somehow. Even though it's only me live in this room, if this goes off, I gotta keep my eye on it because it keeps, it literally just keeps turning off like on its own. Maybe I'm not the only one in this room. Grab your beverage of choice. We're hopping on hydration station today. I'm back to hydrating. We have water and I got a new water bottle. Na -na. As if I needed another one. I went to a Pluto TV event and they had a bunch of free merch and I'm like, do I need another water bottle? Absolutely not. Will I be taking one? Absolutely not. So cheers. I think I may have caked on the lip gloss a little too much. It's lime water today. I put lime in here. I know. It's not my fave, but it'll do. What is my fave is the one and only Judge Judy, and she will be in today's video because she will not not be in a judge video. We're checking out some savage, relentless judges who just, you know, they stick it to the man. They say it how it is, and Judge Judy is my fave, but let me know who your fave is. I don't know if I like the toothpaste I'm using. Wait, um, are you in a rent-controlled apartment? Yes. Yeah. Stabilized. Rent stabilized. Rent stabilized. Yeah. But it's furnished and it includes the utility, so it's not I'm sorry. overcharged. What, how much is your rent? What does that have to do with this? It has to do with whether you have a right to even charge. Just the reaction from the crowd is enough for me. I don't even know. I have don't none. I don't even know what we're talking about, but the reaction from the crowd, I'm like, <gasps> Like they're just building the, they're making it feel intense. Even charge her rent. No, I do. Oh, well, I'm I not gonna take up. your word for it, okay? Yes, How much is your rent? That's the rent stabilization. Over 2,000. <gasps> How much exactly is your rent, ma'am? You don't know the answer to that question. It's a pretty simple question. How much do you pay in rent a month? Close to 2,400. And you're charging her more than 50% of it. The room if that includes oh. utilities. You know what? You're going to give her back her rent for that first month, too. <gasps> That's what's It includes happen. utilities, and it's a furnished room. So it doesn't... Uh, I find in not... your favor in the amount of $4,125. I think this is a systematic thing on her part of tormenting you until you leave, then she has no roommate, and then she can keep your last month in security deposit. That's why there's so many of these. So I am not only going to award you your last month and your security, oh I'm also going to award you the month that she charged you, that she didn't have a right to charge you that, that amount, and that was pure hell for you, and that you shouldn't have to pay. $4,125 verdict for the plan. Wow, that was intense. Woo! Now I'm not gonna pretend that I know, you know, the renting laws and this and that, but I trust that she does. And by the sounds of it, it sounds a little bit like a scam. She thinks there's a system going on. She probably does it to other people. She said there's so many of them. We got a little scammer in the courtroom, do we? <gasps> the light went out! No one told me. How dare they? Hello? Oh! I'm being haunted. Oh, we got sugar daddy in the chat. They're also in my DMs. Not sure if those are like bots, but there's a lot of sugar daddies in there. I don't need an allowance, but thank you so much. If you want to put yourself in a sugar daddy situation, why are you coming whining to me now? I'm not whining, Judge. I want what she told me she was going to pay me. You're going to have to prove that that was a loan and not what it looks like. But why else would I pay you? <gasps> Her bill, she I'll asked me. I'll tell you me. why. Because you're a 60-year-old man dating a 27-year-old child. That's, That's not why. why. Mm -hmm. That's not why. Well, not that'll, keep, why. that'll keep you in business. You get to trot her around. And you get to... You, and, and, and she's not just any 27-year-old. She's that 27-year-old. And then, you know, while there's the promise of one-day intimacy, and then the minute there's no intimacy, boom. Everything gets canceled. All the credit cards get canceled. That's not why they you got canceled. You gambled and you didn't win the gamble. That's not what happened. You're that's right. exactly what happened. That's and not what happened. And until you see that that's what happened, it's gonna happen to you again. Nah. So let me just give you a little piece of free legal advice. The next time you find a cha-cha who's 20-something who you want to hang with, but if money you're showering on her are loans, then make sure you get those in writing. And I always wondered about this. I always wondered if anything would ever become a lawsuit in that. If you don't have an agreement and it's like, you know, 
we just understand what this agreement is. But if there is nothing in writing, you don't got a case. That goes for anything. Sounds like man's, you know, was being a sugar daddy and he wanted a little more. He wanted a little more. If you know what I'm saying. She probably said, no, that was not part of the agreement. I just want your money. Um, and he got mad. You looking for a $100,000 wedding? Yes. Yes. Why? I have high standard. $100,000 wedding? That is so much money. And I feel like I shouldn't lower them just because. I have high standards too. I went to a justice of the peace. Okay. <laughs> Married 32 years. Okay. Woo -hoo! The biggest weddings are the shortest marriages. I swear. Roger. You know, Kim Kardashian, that dude, 72 days. It took her longer to pick out the dress than it did to be married to her. <laughs> you know what I mean? You look at, that's just a party. You have that party with, like on your 25th wedding anniversary. Then you could spend that kind of money. $100,000, you're never going to get married, honey. You, you know what I'm saying here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrong goal. The goal is to have him like for 40 years. Yeah. Not to have one party. Aw, that's very sweet. I get it, there was like comedy in there, but that was very sweet and also very true. I try to keep that in mind when I think, I'm, I've been going to a lot of weddings. If you're on my Instagram, you know. I've been standing in a lot of weddings. It's that time, I'm gonna be 32 soon. Everyone's getting freaking married and having children. Anyways, there's a lot of weddings. I'm trying to keep in mind, like this is for one night and I understand it's a big day and I'm so excited for that day to come for me whenever it does. But I'm like, when it comes to like the money and the spending, it's like, ooh, but I would rather like travel. Like there's so many other things. I would like a house one day because it appears I'm never gonna have one of those at this rate. I try to keep in mind, it is a celebration and you're gonna have to spend some money, but like how much money? That seems like, huh. at that point, let's get married in the backyard. I don't wanna spend hundred grand. Is that what they cost? Cause I don't want that. You wanna tell me the cockamamie story that you told me in your answer or you want to just let it go from there and say what happened is as Miss Zai says happened that my two pit bull mixes oh, attacked her dog and I'm oh, going baby. to be responsible for her vet bills or you want to tell me this cockamamie story which I'm going to listen to I want to tell you my story uh, go Miss Zai came in to the coffee house she came to the side door she okay. rattled the door she made noise talking and she threw the dog in she did That's not right, enter. just a sec that was the cockamamie part of the story that I wanted you to tell. That was the stupid part of the story that I wanted an intelligent woman who runs a business to tell me. So what you're telling me is that this woman who takes her dog everywhere, this calm dog, who clearly is a dog that is attached to its mother, that she opened the door and threw the dog into your coffee shop. Is that what you want me to believe? She did. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Threw your dog. Like, just opened the door, tossed her dog in, and, like, stayed, like, what? I'm confused. Obviously, there was a dog attack at this coffee shop, and now there were vet bills that needed to be paid. Anytime a case involves a dog, my heart is always like, mm -hmm. like, justice for the dog. I don't even care. I don't care about any of the drama between the humans. I just want to know about the dog and justice for the dog. Get her vet bills paid. Like, it's personally just with the dog. For me, anyway. I'm here waiting for you because you couldn't get here on time. Bird is here waiting for you because you couldn't get here on time today. Most important, the lady that you stiffed on the car that you didn't know was here at 1.15, the same time you were supposed to be here. Do you understand? That is disrespectful. Stop tapping. That's disrespectful. Ooh. It's disrespectful of other people's time when you're late. You see all these people sitting in the gallery? Fact. They could have been home 40 minutes ago. If it wasn't for you, I could have been home 40 minutes ago and been on the treadmill if it wasn't for you. Out of all things, the treadmill? There's so many other things I would want to do before I say that. Guys, I want to get your opinion on this time thing, okay? Some people take being on time very seriously. Like that means if you're late, that will irritate them. They find that very disrespectful. It weighs a lot on them. How do you feel about it? I want to know your vibes. Rivera, I will say this to you. You're foolish. You had a good thing. As soon as it wasn't a perfect thing, it made you angry. Nobody's ever going to be perfect. You most certainly are not perfect. And the next guy you get is not going to be perfect. And unless you're willing to put up with a little bit of, you know, they say for better or for worse for a reason. It's not going to be all you know, lollipops and sunshine. And when it's not lollipops and sunshine for your husband, you at least give him a lollipop. You might not be able to make the sunshine, but you can give him a lollipop and you didn't do it. You decided that your marriage was about you, for you, and because of you. And when he hit a rough patch, you were like, I'm sick of you. 
I'm tired of it. You're not a king and wonderful anymore because you're not doing everything I want to. You're no longer Mr. Perfect, and I have no obligation to give anything to you. That's tired and that's sad, and he's a good dude. Mr. Rivera, you were, you were cool until you got on that motorcycle and rolled off like you didn't have a kid. I was just looking at that woman as she was talking, and I, I don't know if anyone else is getting this vibe, but I'm seeing so much regret. Like I, she wasn't even like acting entitled about it. Like she was just, it felt like she was really hearing those words and she's like, I feel like she regrets whatever happened in that relationship, however she handled things, whatever's happened between them. I feel like she has such deep regret in her heart. Oh, and that is literally the definition of marriage. Like that's how I see marriage. When you choose like a partner for life. Yeah, that's the good and the bad. You either lied when you wrote this, you lied two minutes ago, you lied who you said it to, because this does not say he gave your daughter anything. You say in here he offered my daughter marijuana. Your Honor, I was incarcerated at the time. Just a second. Did he bail you out of jail? Yes, but I didn't just, ask him uh, Just a second. Did he bail you? out of jail yes that's a yes or a no what were you in jail for what? um obstruction of justice perjury no justice don't help me do i look as if i need your help no ma'am i believe you're plenty capable of this i'm sorry your honor <laughs> I love her. I just do. I know not everyone's a fan of Judge Judy in the comments. I get your comments. You don't like her. I do. And good news is, this is my channel. So I can watch Judge Judy. I love her. Sing the door in. What, what up with that, ma'am? I can't see that. What up with that? What up with that, ma'am? That I don't think I've ever heard her speak like that before. See, you know, the, the damage on the outside walls is very consistent with the damage on the inside walls. Okay, that's paint coming off the wall. Okay, that's just that is off. somebody or something hitting the wall. I mean, Both I of those two pictures are somebody or something hitting the wall. Well, I have a two-year-old, but as far as oh, I'm... Your two-year-old doesn't have that kind of strength, like that, babe. That is, that is paint coming off the wall. That's not... And yeah, that hand was it not over. There. Yeah. Yeah, who am I going to believe? You or my lion eyes? Come on. I can't pull Okay, up. no, I would agree with you on this one that this is paint coming off the wall. This one is the one you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but this is not... This is paint coming off the wall because someone hit the wall. And this is not your two-year-old span. Yeah. Because this is too high up for a two-year-old. I don't know. I showed it to you already. But you were so busy denying it that you didn't take a good look. Now take a good look. No, that was, I don't know. I don't what know. What do you think I, I did? Take I a bat and bash you. things up just so he could have the, you he know. destroyed the place so that then he could go after you to make you pay it. Is that it? I don't know. But girl, girl, girl. Showing up in court and then being like, I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking like those are your photos that you took to bring in as the evidence of the case and now you're like i don't know this sounds like one of those cases. i don't know if like renters or whatever i'm assuming this is the case landlord versus renter and she's trying to get that security deposit that happens all the time y'all you gotta take your own videos and pictures before and after you move in you gotta do it by whoa you gotta do it for yourself or else people will come and destroy the place and make hey you gotta pay for it i've seen it happen hello Hello. Hello. Uh, oh. Okay. I really hope. Oh! It's off. Is it broken? What's happening? I don't like what's happening here. According to this, to this, you say to the judge that the dogs that I... she took care of. Hey. I'm speaking mm -hmm. that the dogs that she took care of, five of them, mm -hmm. are worth two thousand dollars a piece. No. That's what you said. A thousand. A thousand. Uh, all righty. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Demarco Alrighty. testified he wants the five dogs or the value, which he believes to be two thousand dollars per dog, not a thousand. That's what the judge says. The judge is lying. Well, I, well, well, I said they're around a thousand to two thousand. No. Oh my gosh. But got it. Zippity doo dog. <laughs> When you come up with $4,500, which I would like to see, because actually, Miss Cortini, I would not give him back the dogs. I if I, if I were making the, if I were making the decision, actually. I would not give him back the dog that he hasn't had for a year. She's terrified of she's, him. Listen to me. She's I'm not. terrified of him. <laughs> I understand. People are like, she's not a good judge. I see her show as entertainment, though, and that's exactly what it is. It's an entertainment show, and she is entertaining with those one-liners. I swear Judge Judy could do stand-up comedy. I swear. I would love to see it. A little improv. I just need it. I don't think she'll do it, but I can hope, you know? All right, guys, let me know who your favorite judge is. I have a ghost, apparently, so I'm going to um, deal with that. 
yeah, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm scared. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.